Hey guys, what's going on? Tim back with another video about life in Huntsville, Alabama. And today we are going to be looking at uh, a new development in town that is getting a lot of buzz here. And that is the Mid-City District. Now, Mid-City is pretty much in the middle of the city. It is a new mixed-use development on what was uh, an, uh, the old mall. I think it was Madison Square Mall. Uh, you remember malls? You millennials may not. Malls were these big buildings that housed uh, a lot of stores. And you could go in this one building and go to all these stores. And uh, old people loved them because they could go uh, do what was called mall walking which basically was walking around the mall. But uh, anyway, this was one of the oldest malls in town. Uh, it was bulldozed, the entire area came down, and now they are doing the mid-city development. And people are just really excited about this because uh, this development is bringing a lot of things to town that was sorely lacking, uh, i.e. Uh, national chain restaurants, things to do, entertainment venues, that sort of thing. So uh, a lot of excitement here. Of course, it's mixed use. So that means shopping. That means restaurants. That means uh, places to live as well as temporary lodging like hotels. So I, uh, I just printed out some information about it because it's uh, is a lot going on here. So the Mid-City District Center of University Drive Corridor, this is pretty much in the center of town, uh, built on land formerly occupied by a regional mall. Uh, Mid-City was planned through blah, blah, blah. Um, well, this is kind of interesting. Maybe I shouldn't blah, blah so casually. Uh, it says here, Mid-City was planned through careful research into how people congregate. <laughs> I didn't know you could research such things. Uh, what communities look for in a place and how venues, buildings, parks, and public spaces can be used in a variety of ways. Fitness and recreation, public gathering areas, walkable streets. Did you know that there are probably streets that are just not walkable? I had no idea. I'm being a all oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, vibrant neighborhoods and intimate spaces. Um, it's going to be a balanced use of urban plazas, walkable streets adjacent to a 40-acre public park uh, that integrates a functional lake system and 8,000 capacity regional outdoor amphitheater, which people are going nuts about. Uh, there's also a Top Golf here. Uh, we just got a Trader Joe's, which I got to tell you, I don't get it. Trader Joe's is is a grocery store, an expensive grocery store. But the day that opened, you would have thought that Jesus had come back. And was it Trader Joe's? It was just insane. Again, I'm being an asshole. Uh, anyway, once complete, the development will include 350 square feet of retail dining and entertainment space, approximately 400,000 square feet of high-tech office space, 1,400, 1400 residential units and approximately 650 hotel rooms so it is going to be uh, an amazing area and again you know we've done other videos on mixed use spaces because the thing that makes them so appealing is you can live there work there eat there shop there play there you literally don't even have to drive everything is is going to be approachable on uh, on foot on walkable streets see how i put that together but anyway a lot going on i'm going to show you some video like i said we just got the trader joe's dave and busters is here um we've got top golf we've got a lot of uh small areas uh here we've got coffee shops and restaurants and uh it is uh it's just going to be an amazing complex once it is done and they're going to be single family homes there's going to be loft apartments uh, the three hotels that are planned, one is called the Metronome. Uh, it's the first available residential building. It'll, okay, so these are condos. 296 multifamily units over retail and restaurant space. 
live in the Mid-City District to have direct connection to the best neighborhoods, tech offices, and et cetera, et cetera. So it is going to be kind of neat. They're also bringing in uh, a Marriott Hotel is going to be here. So uh, let's drive around a little bit and take a look at what's here. And keep in mind that it is under still under development. It is nowhere near finished, but we will give you a look at what is here now because my sarcasm aside, it is a pretty cool thing going on right here in Huntsville, Alabama. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the tour of Mid-City. Like I said, this is going to be an amazing complex uh, once it's done. You can live here, work here, play here, uh, go to restaurants, a lot of entertainment going on. You got the rock wall, you got Dave and Buster's, you got the movie theater that's coming in. Uh, it's just a really, really cool space. So, hey, if you would like to be kept up to date about things going on at Mid-City, as well as other things we do here on the channel, give me uh, do me a favor, give us a, a thumbs up click the like button, click subscribe. That way, uh, every time we drop a video, and when I say we, I mean me, uh, you will be notified. Uh, don't forget also, I've got Revolved Realty here in Huntsville, 72 agents ready to go to work for you. Uh, the biggest part of uh, my day now is actually spent talking to folks like you who watch the YouTube channel, want more information about life here, wants us to find them a home. We work with folks that are, are moving here, relocating here for work, relocating here for school, relocating here for retirement. Uh, and whether you're looking for a single family home, if you're looking for a condo, if you're looking for something in one of the multi-use developments, we can certainly find that for you. My contact information is below and I will hook you up with an agent who will uh, just uh, do great things for you. All right. So, hey, that's it, guys. I hope you're having a great day and I will talk to you soon again. If I can do anything for you, let me know. Otherwise, I'm going to go over here to Trader Joe's and uh, uh, see what I can find. It's like a $20 tomato. Who would pay $20 for a tomato?